At the meeting of three where no rivers meet but serve as lines, I find myself free of these confines we call borders used to justify orders of culture clashes and civil matches. I'm no more involved than not, but it's not admitted because Will won't permit it. So I close my eyes, breathe, and internalize this poem I long to call home. Sick of a search always answered by church, we need not these chains. So in my temple, that body of sorts, finite as any other natural resource, I fancy a place where we act on something more concrete than faith, on something that tells us all how to live in peace and harmony. Something that says revolutions are only worth fighting when they spark personal insighting more often than wick lighting, infighting, molotov blinding flashes where no lighting is assisted by thunder's roar. Of course this work has become my prayer because it's for myself. It becomes real. I am intent now that yoga should define life in every action. Now opposite of north, secrets prayed as past mistakes, humbling the natives of such a sacred space. I'm sitting on a tomb of power once abused. Muscle flex and cause death, but this village still sleeps in pure air. Perspective dances here. A mind can realize the cause of all, if not sick of it all. Spring to fall and the extremes in between. When born within the sum of we divided by infinity, or multiplied by zero. When the wind blows, it's such and you listen, everyone's a hero. 